Hi Vogue, I'm Eden Olivia and I'm going to be sharing my beauty secrets. <laughs> Obsessed. I saw this bar from before. Absolutely, I'm going to be doing my own Vogue beauty secrets. Um, I always imagine doing these and like what I would say and do. So I thought, you know what? With a background like this, we're going to do it. Cheers. Stay hydrated, kids. So we start with skincare. I've already moisturised my face, um, but keep the lips hydrated. Vaseline. Can't go wrong. Um, I'm also going to be putting on this Sephora Hyaluronic Acid All Day Hydrator. Um, I got this at a Sephora event and I really like it. I mean, I'd, I wouldn't ever use it by itself because I usually put it on with makeup, but you can. Um, let me just mix it in. Okay, up next, we're going to be putting on this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Does primer work? I don't know, I just use it. I feel like it's an extra layer to get the makeup off of the skin, so I'm all here for it. FYI, that, it says, use fingertips, whatever. Apply to set for 30 seconds, so. Okay, do you know what someone should do? All like the controversial, not controversial things, but with some of the Vogue videos, like, I always thought it was at their houses. I think Rihanna's is, or maybe it was at a hotel. I didn't realise that they were like stay in a hotel or something and then they film it in the same background. Also, I can't remember who, I think it was Vanessa Hudgens. And I feel like people were saying that like her makeup artist helped her because like the camera cuts and then her makeup's changed. But I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, up next, we're going to be doing our brows. For brows, my go to is the MAC Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Stud, love it. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hill um, gel. Unpopular opinion, I feel like any gel does the trick. Um, yeah. So, I draw under, so I'm looking in the mirror, so I hope you guys are seeing. Then I go over, and then I fill them in. I actually learned to do my makeup in this order because of MAC. I think it was a few videos ago. I actually got a MAC makeover, which was lovely. But I got my first one when I was about 19 or 20. I remember I was at uni and I wanted to learn how to do makeup properly. Um, and I remember Kim Kardashian said that her dad bought her Courtney and I think Chloe makeup lessons because he was like, if you're going to be wearing makeup, you're going to be doing it properly. Um, so I thought, oh, that's actually such a good idea. So yeah, I got one for my birthday present, loved it. Um, and that's the order I still do my makeup in, like brows first, you're gonna see the rest. It's so weird as well, because I remember when I first started, um, when I first had my makeover, and the makeup artist was like, oh, you know, how do you do your brows? And I was like, oh, I don't really do them. I feel like they just look very fake, like when you draw them on. Wow. Then she, she was not offended or anything, and it was awkward because I said that and then hers were obviously drawn on. Um, and then when we started doing the makeup lesson and she literally adjusted my brows, I was like, I would happily leave now. Like, the brows looked so good. And now brows are like my go-to. Like, if I only could wear one makeup product, it would be eyebrows, so. Life comes at you hard. Life comes at you fast. I don't know, whatever that saying is. That is a good example with my eyebrows. I tidy my brows up with concealer. Um, this is the MAC 242 brush. It's the only MAC brush I have. That's why I always remember what brush it is. Um, and I'm just using the Milk Concealer in the shade 21W. Lovely. Um, I'm also gonna actually put my concealer on under my eyes as well. I have a spot here. People say conceal your spots, but no. I let people see them, I don't really care. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go over that concealer with this Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser, uh, which is slightly lighter. It's nice. It's weird, I don't know if I was watching a TV show or a film, 
but we need to appreciate aging. So many people don't, maybe was talking about it at work, but so many people don't appreciate getting older. Like, at least we're alive. Oh, this thing's a bit tired. I don't know if people wear these all the time. I'm purely wearing this for this video, I'm not gonna lie. Um, actually, whenever I go on holiday, I do usually put it on in the bathroom, but it's only on holiday. Uh, now I'm using this MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. As you can see, it's kind of light. Uh, I'm gonna tidy above my brows as well. Uh, I know my forehead and the foundation. To be fair, the foundation on the whole face is looking a bit off. Anyway, up next, I'm using this KVD makeup brush. This is the number 10. Um, I'm gonna take my earrings out actually. For me, finding a good foundation, I mean, I say that. <laughs> This isn't actually matching and I literally bought this a few weeks ago in the MAC makeover um, video. Um, it's fine in the winter but now it's like hot out and I'm, even my mum, I FaceTimed her earlier and she was like, oh you look a bit tired. I thought, I do, don't I? Which is great for me, not for my foundation that I now can't really wear. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, finding a perfect foundation shade, it's been a journey, let me tell you that right now. The girls will be able to vouch that literally for like, I don't know, I feel like every weekend I would be at House of Fraser, I'd be at House of Fraser, John Lewis and Debenhams um, in Oxford Street and Selfridges, literally going to all the makeup counters, getting testers. And it was just really hard to, to find one. Uh, like the undertone would be off or it just wouldn't really suit me or I wouldn't like the finish. Oh, it's, it's a lot. So if you're out there trying to find a foundation, be patient, don't just buy one. I mean, I say that, I literally bought this one. Um, but yeah, just get testers. Go to the shop with no makeup on, let them put it on you, leave the shop and go into natural daylight so you can actually see what it looks like because in those shops, the lighting's always off and then decide. I then go in with this MAC Studio Fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer. Um, this is in the shade NC50 and then I just go over the darker areas. So I don't look ashy. It's not the vibe we're ever going for. Always wet your makeup sponge. Like literally rinse it in the water and then wring it out like so and then use it. Do not use it dry. I think I've done that once and I thought this is dead when, you know, it use blenders with a vibe. And then I think someone on YouTube was like, oh, make sure you wet it. Game changer, trust me. Um, so then I just blend that in. Once I've blended in the whole face, I then go in and blend in that concealer that has been sat there for a few minutes. I feel like someone on TikTok said that you should let your concealer sit. So I listened. Does it do anything different? We don't know. Um, but someone on TikTok said it, so we're doing it. And blend above the eye where we tidied up the eyebrows. Again, that just makes all the difference in my makeup, in my brows. I forgot my powder. <laughs> it's because I really ever wear it. So the eyelids are gonna probably be creasing annoyingly because there's nothing there to keep it in place. Um, I've stopped setting my under eye because do you know what? I hate that dry look. And even though the concealer just keeps moving around, I feel like you can gently, you know, kind of blend and try and make something work. So the makeup's looking like this. This line is so not the vibe, but it is what it is. Um, let's get some tissue. I always have tissue to hand as well because I feel like I always am trying to get foundation off of my fingers. Okay, so at this point that I go in with the eyebrow gel. I feel like I always do my eyebrow gel last because, I don't know, when I'm like blending out near my, my concealer and my foundation, I feel like, yeah, it might move my brows a bit. So I'm just... Them through. Next eyeliner, I'm using the KVD Tattoo Liner One. Um, I need a little mirror for this. Oh my gosh, try to do your eyeliner. I can't even talk, let me just do it. Okay, these are not equal. The advantage of not setting your under eye is that you can just tidy up anywhere. 
that isn't doing what you need it to be doing. Oh, do you know what? For me with eyeliner, it gets to a point where I'm like, do you know what, enough is enough. Well, it's done, it's done. And that's how we're keeping it. Okay, now it is mascara time. Um, and I'm using this Amy Connolly, uh, my mascara is brown. Um, however, first, actually, no, let's just use this one. I have been using um, this Maybelline Sky High. I really like this and I will be rebuying it. Also the Morphe one. Uh, this is the Morphe Make It Big, bold black. That is actually a good mascara, but they're both kind of running out. So just to talk back about my eyeliner, I remember when I just really wanted to learn how to do it. So one day I literally, like I'm not even joking, I spent hours putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. And then um, now it's, it can take some time and there's a few bits of tweaking every now and then, but yeah, practice does make perfect. And yeah, if you want to learn how to do your makeup, just keep practicing. And I remember I'd always ask the makeup artist, like every weekend I was at House of Fraser, Debenhams, John Lewis and Selfridges. And they would say, just practice, like, use your makeup and just practice at home. But I'd be like, makeup's not cheap, it's expensive. And putting that on just to be in my house, that's a waste. But then you have to ask yourself, do you want it? In the words of that lady, do you want it? Because you're asking for it, you're dying for it. You know what, there's nothing better than using a new mascara. It's like you get new lashes, love it. Well, Flo, I think that'll do. I don't really spend as much time on mascara. CBA, to be honest. It's also one of my least favorite things to take off mascara. Right, so that's that. Um, I don't usually put on bronzer, like on a day to day. So we're just gonna use whatever's left on this Real Techniques brush. Oh my gosh, fun story. So I actually started wearing makeup properly at uni. And when I say at uni, I literally mean like, do you know what, I am actually gonna put on a bit of bronze. FYI, I'm using the MAC, matte deep rosy skin finish um, bronzer. I literally use a little bit, tap it, blow it, and then just pat it on. Um, yeah, I only started wearing makeup in like uni, like I'm pretty sure it was my last year of uni as well. Um, yeah, when I was, my 20th birthday. So literally I, I had, my Mac makeover on my 20th birthday. Then a few weeks later, I went back to uni for my third year. And that's actually when I started wearing makeup. But my mum growing up, I was not allowed to wear makeup. I feel like people are always like, oh, you know, I used to play my mum's makeup and all that. My mum doesn't really wear makeup herself. She does something like when she's going out, but yeah, I remember at my school, like the girls were literally wearing like foundation and all that in like, I'm pretty sure year seven and I wasn't allowed. My mum let me wear clear clear mascara in, I think in year eight. Which, I mean, do you know what, go mum to be honest, because in year eight, you're like 12, which in my opinion, that is so young. 12 or 13, I don't know, you're young. Um, and then in year nine, I was allowed to wear black mascara. And that's it. I only started wearing concealer after prom. So when I went to sixth form, so now I'm like 16, so when I started wearing concealer. But I remember at my sixth form, there were so many get well, not so many girls, but there were a few girls who, and they were like in the popular group and they were really nice, but like they would not wear makeup. And I thought, why am I wearing makeup? It's not really, it just takes time. Um, so yeah, that's why I've never really been like in my childhood, because you know, teenagers were still children. I was never really a makeup girl. And then I remember at uni, oh sorry, blush, I'm using the Sleek palette. Blush by Three palette. Um, lantern, squash and pea pie. I kind of just mix them all to be honest. And this is a Real Techniques brush. I think this was like, I think it's, this is their blusher brush? I don't know. I'll just use whichever brush looks like it's gonna do what I need it to be doing. Um, just an up close so you can see what's actually going on here. We're just putting on some blush. Um, but yeah, I was never really like a makeup girl. Then in my final, first year at uni, I remember, um, like I was at uni for a week, obviously at Freshers, and then my mum and my nan came up with like more of my stuff because I basically packed my entire room up. Like I took teddies, I'm not even a teddy girl. Teddies, um, I took books, books I didn't even read. I didn't even open the books. Anyway, um, and yeah, they came up and then my nan taught me how to do foundation, literally. She got me the Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me, um, foundation and it was in the shade coconut 
and it was the only dark shade they had. And my nan said, just put one pump, dot it on your face and blend it out of your fingers. And honest to God, that is literally how my makeup was. Like when I'd go on nights out, I just have foundation on. No brows, Vaseline, foundation and Vaseline. That's all I had on guys. No blush, con concealer, none of that. Uh, maybe, did I have concealer? I think I had concealer actually. So I think it was just, I must have literally looked crazy. Yeah, so that's, that's fun. And then I remember, I think it might have been around Christmas time or something, I came back home um, and me and George, who you guys have met, she um, had a red lipstick and I was like, oh, can I try that? I mean, like, I'd had a drink at this point, so I was feeling a bit brave. Um, she was like, put it on and I actually really liked it. So yeah, I started wearing that. It was the Kate Moss Rimmel um, lipstick. Love it. I've, I've still got one, it's basically run out. I don't think they do it anymore, which is really annoying. Um, so that's when I started wearing a red lipstick. And then yeah, it was in third year, so I think, I'm pretty sure that's all I ever used to wear. Foundation, concealer, red lipstick, mascara. Um, and I think at this time I started learning to do eyeliner. And um, I feel like I need more bronzer on my forehead. And then yeah, it was in the final year where I actually learned how to do brows and highlight and blush and bronze and actually had good products. But yeah, that is at the end of my makeup tutorial. I'm just gonna set this. Oh, by the way, the highlighter was the Too Faced. I don't know what shade this is because it's run off, rubbed off on the back, but it looks like this. And I just used this fan brush. This is Super Drugs's. You no know Super Drugs have their own brand, like B, B, Beauty, I don't know. Super Drugs own brand. This is so good. I've tried like, I think I've tried the Morphe one of that and the MAC one and that one's my favorite. And I'm just gonna set my face with this Makeup Forever mist and fix. Personally, I don't really feel like it's that much of a mist. It does feel more like a spray. My favorite set and sprays are the Morphe one and the Cover FX. Stunning, 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 stunning. Um, but yeah, guys, that is the end of my beauty secret. Let me show you guys my makeup in daylight. Hopefully I don't look crazy. I haven't actually seen it for myself. Um, oh, I've got Avatar 2 on the teller. Um, let's put these up. Stunning. Yeah, here is my, oh my gosh, this lighting's great. Here is my makeup. Um, blush, bronze, highlight, foundation, concealer. Um, mascara, eyeliner, brows, lip gloss. And that lip gloss was Fenty Beauty and I put Vaseline on first. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed my Vogue Beauty Secrets video. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.